Sis. Guess what? A huge confession from your lovely brother. I finally decided to get married. What? You're getting married? I proposed to my girlfriend the other day and she said yes. So we're going to have a wedding and file registration this year. Congratulations. Jake. Well, are you going to introduce her to the family then? You'll introduce me to her, right? Well, that's actually why I'm calling you. I want to have dinner party with both families at the end of the month. And at the dinner, can you please not say a word to my fiancé, Karen? What do you mean? I can't even say hello to her? She doesn't like you. She doesn't even want to have dinner with you. But I know we can't do that. So I asked her to come but I told her she doesn't have to talk to you. I don't understand. Why does she not like me? I've never even met your girlfriend. Actually, Karen is what you might call a daughter of a very wealthy family. Her family owns a big company. That's why she hates people with dirty jobs like you. What? What did you just say? You see, you work in a dirty factory, right? I know you're in dirty work clothes every day. She really can't stand people in that line of work. You've got to be kidding me. And you don't actually want to invite me to the dinner? Not only that, you're telling me not to say a word to her if I want to meet her? How rude of her. Can't help it. She's a sheltered girl. That can't be a reason. I understand how you feel, sis, but please be a grown-up here. Please just stay quiet at the dinner. Don't embarrass me in front of her. What do you mean to embarrass you? If you're my brother, you should have said something to her. You should have said something like don't make fun of my sister's job. How can you not get upset while your family is made fun of? Huh? How can I back you up when you're working in a dirty little factory? Your job is so sweaty and crude, people hate those jobs and you can't blame them for that. It's hard enough for me to tell her not to make fun of you. What? I'm begging you, keep quiet for your little brother's sake. I want to marry her. But what if the marriage I called off because of you? If that happens, will you be responsible for my life? Well, that's... If you can't even take responsibility, then please keep your mouth shut up at the dinner party. That's enough. I'll just show up and leave right away. I'm sure that would make you too happy. That'll be great. I'll let her know right away. Later that night. I was so surprised today. I had no idea that my daughter's fiancé was Bailey's brother. Such a small world, isn't it? It really is. I never thought I would be greeting you like this. I'm surprised myself too. I wish I could have talked to you a little more. Were you not feeling well today? You didn't say a word at all, and you left right before the meal was served. Um, actually, I was. I have a terrible allergy to hay fever and have been struggling with infection. It's hard to even have a simple conversation and eat. I left because I didn't want to interrupt everyone. I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm relieved to hear that was the reason. I thought it was my daughter who made you leave. What? I'm sure you've heard from your brother. My daughter is a very selfish girl. She's especially picky about who she likes and dislikes. Once she identifies someone she doesn't like, she hates them to the core. She even says things like, don't open your mouth in front of me because I don't like you. So I thought she might have told you to go home without saying a word. Uh, that wasn't my case. I decided to leave on my own. In fact, I'm deeply moved. I can't believe that my selfish daughter, whom I had to deal with for so long, is finally getting married. She seems to have matured a lot recently. I'm sure it's because of Jake, I'm very grateful to him. They seem to be having fun every day. Yes, they do seem to get along. I can't wait for their wedding. I'm looking forward to becoming a family with you. 
Thank you for coming out today. I caught a glimpse of you and noticed that you already arrived at the wedding venue. Yes, I just arrived a few minutes ago. Wow, it's first time you're messaging me in person, isn't it? Perhaps, are you trying to warn me not to say a word again? Oh, you got that. That's exactly what I was trying to ask you. I knew it. But I've decided to reconsider that. I don't mind you speaking, but could you please just leave now? I'm sorry, but I want you to disappear from my wedding now. What? I still can't accept you. I can't believe that a dirty factory worker is here at my wedding. I feel as if my wedding is going to be tainted and it makes me feel sick. What? And the dress you're wearing looks so poor and shabby. It's exactly the kind of plain dress that suits a factory woman. I would have allowed you to stay if you looked at least a little better. That's a terrible thing to say, Karen. This dress is my favorite dress. Not only do you make fun of that dress, you tell me to leave now? Ha! Huh? Are you talking back to me despite your status for being so poor? That's the kind of thing that pisses me off the most and I can't do this anymore. Ugh. What am I going to do? I don't feel like having a wedding anymore. I'm sure it will crush Jake if I tell him I want to call off the wedding. What? <laughs> of course you don't want that, do you? I'm sure the poor sister can't even be financially responsible if your brother's wedding is cancelled. You should behave and listen to me. There's no room for poor people here, so go home now. A bottom-feeding factory worker like you don't deserve to be at my wedding. Well, goodbye then. Don't ever show your face again. I don't want anything to do with you anymore. Yeah, okay. Don't worry, everything will be as you wish. Then I'll say a final hello to your mother, the president, and then I'll be on my way. I'm going to go tell her that I will cancel any further business with our factory. What? Your mother's company needed a certain parts that only we manufacture. Your family's company has been a long-time customer of ours. But I can't believe that after today, we will no longer have any business with them. It's shame, but it can't be helped. Wait a minute. What do you mean? You know my mother? What do you care about the poor person? Nothing that you'll be interested so, just enjoy your wedding with Jake. Well then, it'll get going. One hour later. Come back to the wedding now. My mom is so mad at me. She said if you don't come back, the wedding will be cancelled immediately. She doesn't approve of this marriage either and says she's going to kick me out of the house. What? Lily is usually so calm and gentle. Exactly. She's usually so mild and kind but she is terribly angry today. I mean, is it true what she's saying? She says you're the president of a factory. And that you make important screw parts for our company's products. Is it true that we can't make any of our products without those parts? Yes, that's true. That's why, your family's company will have to stop manufacturing for a while. Without our screws, the product won't be complete. I hope you can find somewhere else who makes them. But as far as I know, there aren't any. You're kidding? You make such valuable screws? Aren't all screws the same? A screw is just a screw, but it also makes a whole difference. We even have a patent for our product. We are the only company that makes screws that never loosen. Oh, please, Bailey. I'm sincerely sorry for everything I've done. So please come back to the wedding. I will accept your semantic apology. But even if you apologize, it won't erase the fact you dissed me. And I don't even have a dress to wear to our wedding. Even if I received a sincere and heartfelt apology, I still wouldn't be able to attend the wedding. I also apology for calling your dress plain. I mean, you know what? If I recall well, it wasn't plain at all. It's not that the dress is plain, it only seems so because you are gorgeous. 
That's what I really wanted to say. Excuse me? I think you would look better in a more beautiful dress. So I will give you a dress that suits you right now. So don't say you can't attend the wedding. I will buy a really pretty dress for you. No, thank you. Even if it seems plain to you, I like the dress. Your mother gave it to me. I feel very attached to it that I don't need any other dress. What? Did my mom buy this dress for you? Why would my mom give you a dress? She gave it to me when I took over the factory from my predecessor. My predecessor threw a small inauguration party for me. That's when she gave it to me as a gift to congratulate me. It is very difficult for a woman to be in top management in this world. She very well acknowledges that so she encouraged me that we will work together as comrades from now on. She gave me this beautiful dress as a token of her encouragement. Are you kidding me? It's a high-brand tailor-made dress. It's sophisticated and simple enough to wear on any occasion. The dress means a lot to me and I've used it many times. I wouldn't want any other dress. Now if you'll excuse me. I'm so sorry about my stupid daughter. No, it's not for you to apologize. Well, I still need to do something about it even if you say so. If you don't mind, I'd like to make another formal apology. And please reconsider your decision to cancel our contract. Lily, that's really unnecessary. And please don't worry about the contract. That was just a bluff. I wouldn't bring my personal feelings into a business discussion. Really? Of course. I'm sorry for making you worry. I only reacted to what she told me. It's okay. That's really not something you should apologize for. It's all my stupid daughter's fault. I'm so sorry for everything. I've heard all about the dinner party and everything else. With all due respect, she is one hell of a daughter. It's so embarrassing. I know you don't want any apology, but still, please let me come apologize to you properly. My husband and I can't let it be if we don't give you a formal apology. Really, it's okay. In fact, I would like to ask you something in return. May I discuss some business matters with you? There are some things I would like to review regarding our current contract. What? Have you changed your mind and want to end the contract? No, I won't do that. It's actually regarding the price increase, to be frank. Due to the recent high oil prices and other factors, we have been under a lot of pressure. I'd like to discuss with you regarding the pricing. If that's the case, it'll make time for you right away. Of course, we will consider it positively. Then I will contact you again regarding this matter. Yes, please do so when things have settled down. I look forward to hearing from you. Two hours later, several days later. Hey, sis. Is it true that you are now the president of the factory? That's none of your business. Don't be so cold. Actually, I have a favor to ask you. Can you please hire me at your factory? Please, you're the only one who can help us. Huh. What do you mean? Why so sudden? Actually, we're having a really hard time after the wedding. Karen got kicked out of her parents' house. She's so spoiled and has been in a sheltered life until now. She has never really worked before and now she is kicked out of her house. She deserves that. She put her parents' company in jeopardy. Yes, that's true, but she's in trouble in other ways too. I was going to work for her family's company after I married Karen. That's why I quit my previous job to prepare for it. But that's all gone too. Oh no. That must be tough. I had a decent job until then. But I quit the job thinking I may eventually be able to take over her family business. Then look what happened. So please hire me at your factory. I'm pretty good at what I do. 100k for a salary would work for me. What? 
you know how they say you get a raise when you change jobs, right? Besides, I'm your brother. I'm the family of the president so I should be treated quite well, right? Of course not. Hell no, I'm not hiring you. Get your butt moving and start searching for a job on your own. What? You want help your sweet little brother? You're not sweet at all. You never backed me up when your wife dissed me. You didn't even care to be on my side. Well, I couldn't help it then. I didn't want to provoke Karen into breaking off the engagement. Come on, Bailey. We're going to be without a place to live tomorrow. And no job too. We're really in a bad situation here. What? We were going to live in her parents' apartment. But of course, not anymore. You really don't have any job or place to live. Exactly. I spent all my savings on the wedding. But their parents got mad and called it off. I had to return the monetary wedding gift I got, and am really in trouble. Oh, no. You lost everything. I won't let her make fun of you again. So, please? Can you help me? Your sweet little brother is in trouble, so help me out. Sorry, Jake. I don't have a little brother anymore. Huh? Yeah, your wife told me. She said not to ever get involved with you guys again. That's why I can't do anything even if you come crying for help. All that talk is nonsense. Karen is here with me now. She says she's really sorry for everything. And she says she'd really like to be friends with you now. Tell her I definitely don't want to be friends with her. Uh. Well then, take care. I have to work at the factory today, so I'm busy. Soon after. After that, Jake approached our parents in tears, and they too were filled with anger towards him. Our parents made it clear that until I forgive him, the entire family will not forgive him. Consequently, he was forbidden from returning home and had to urgently seek employment. Unfortunately, his new job offered a significantly lower salary compared to his previous position. Moreover, due to Karen's reckless spending habits, Jake's salary barely stretches beyond a day. Eventually, Karen resorted to registering with an employment agency for a part-time job and was assigned the role of a janitor at her parents' company. Each day, she finds herself overcome with tears, burdened by the unfortunate circumstances she has found herself in.